off with the colors They kinda tell me what I'm thinking I fell in love with the way we are And the way we lose it There's something different about us And the reason why we stay Hi guys This is technically no fault to Jason He just went upstairs It's just a hard adjustment to realize <laughs> just how much me myself aka mom or any mom does around the house outside of the children's chores or the dad chores whatever they may be <sighs> it's already hurting to hold the camera up but I'm gonna try and get my strength today because I'm feeling really good aside from this first thing I'm gonna show you I just want to walk around my house some of these things I can clean up myself and I'm going to. The other things I, my family and my husband have forgotten that I actually can't do it and it's not in their mindset for all these little things that I normally would just scamper around the house and do, but now I actually can't. So it's not even like registering for them to do themselves. So they just walk right past it. They just walk right past it. So it's been undone for <laughs> a while. So like I said, this is um, 4th of July decorations. And I actually have some more right here. That one is still there because it's hard for me to like, technically not supposed to bend down. I can, I can get that, I can get that one. But I, I couldn't bring the bucket in and I can't carry more than like one or two of these at a time, the weight of them um, it's too much. I shouldn't do that. I held a, a package of uh, cottage cheese in my hands yesterday at Costco and that was too much. So clearly like it would take me a very long time to bend over, which I shouldn't do. Any rate, regardless. Okay, see so here, here he is. I had to mention to him. Hey, I can't put this away. Cause my old MO, my, um, my MO with decorations, fairly enough, is to put them in a pile and then I eventually get it put away. Yeah. Correct? I'm throwing myself under the bus with this one. Why was anybody going under the bus? What are we talking I'm not throwing you under the bus for not having put these away. No, 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 those, all the letters. No, 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 stop. You, you got to be careful how you put these things away. Yeah. Okay. You're packing nicely. Right. So the letters go into the bags right there so that they don't like stick to each other or get things stuck to them, that kind of thing. Okay. He's going to work on that. Ashley, just, she's just a mess. Um, it's an open conversation with her and the family. It's not an <laughs> embarrassing thing. She knows she's a mess. Her cheer stuff came from a different car last night, so it didn't stay in my car. She got a ride home last night. So she just stopped, drop, and roll. She just, like, wherever she lands, that's where her stuff ends. Um, thus, her shoes, her squishmallow, her mat. So that stuff is fair game. That's her. That's her mess. But, like, but like I had to cover up the address. But like the mail, it just it fell on the floor, so people just keep walking past it. Um, I don't I don't even know because I haven't even been here in my office. I don't know what any of this is. I, like I don't know. Um, I don't know what this is, um, or why we can't throw it away because the garbage can is. N nope, it's not right there. Where is my garbage can? Like I don't even understand. I didn't bring it out there. No, no, there's no blaming me. Um, Ashley's crafts, like they throw up onto my side as well as her side. All right, so we're gonna come back to this office stuff. I'm gonna try and sit down. I don't have a chair. I don't have a chair in here. Do I have a chair? Okay, I have this chair. <laughs> what? I thought it was a good joke. Okay, what? Is it appropriate? Or rude. None it's, of those. It's both. It's both. It's both rude and inappropriate. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Can you say it on camera or okay, no? It's just, you're walking around here all like trying to, uh, you know, stuff. And I'm just like, it popped in my head. I'm like, oh, if only they'd had a sphincter relaxation surgery or something like that. And that uh -huh. one. <laughs> <laughs> That's called divorce. <laughs> That's what that's called. That's called divorce. <laughs> An empty nest syndrome. The kids have left the house and I've gotten rid of the husband. And that's when the sphincter gets shrunk back down. 
Loosen. Loosen. I also I can't open the window or I can't shut that window up there. It's gonna be 90 degrees today. We need to shut that window and turn the AC on. In here we have the balloons. I've offered these up for free as an Abby or a baby <laughs> set. And no one has off offered to take them. So I don't know if we pop them. I mean, they're expensive balloons. I would hope that someone would want them. But they just keep moving from room to room. Swept pile, we, we sweep, and then we put it into a pile along with a lot of beads for Ashley. This is her chore, by the way. And I literally can't sweep it up. Like, normally I would just, I would just do it. But I literally can't. I'm actually shocked this bathroom is not more messy. <laughs> this is unusual. This is very usual to have all of her band-aids. Um, we'll talk about her band-aid situation right now. She has a cut on her elbow. Um, we'll talk about that here in a second. But normally band-aids are everywhere and normally toothpaste, toothbrushes, hair brushes. But she's, okay, she's put her stuff away in here. Fair enough. Um, yeah. I, <sighs> I just can't come in here. I just can't come in here. To be fair, I have had him leave these baskets down here because I have him sort and fold and my hands are still really dry. And so I can't like, it feels really funny um, to like fold socks. But I tell him to fold the socks because he doesn't know whose they belong to. Um, and then I will put them away. So these are each of the kids' socks buckets um, that are on the counter because then I can reach them. It just makes for a really crowded space. And then, like, it's killing me because these shirts are getting wrinkled. This is, like, hung stuff. It just it kills me. Um, again, there's another window that needs to get shut right there, but I can't. I can't get it. This is every man. This is catching my attention, so I'm doing it. <laughs> He's washing walls. No, I, it's catching When the house attention. looks like this. Like, this is what the house... The are, kids are focused on that. Like, this is what the house looks like, and he's washing walls. Like, I don't understand. Yeah, she's getting all that. Okay, okay, and okay, I'm okay. I'm going to when we leave. And don't worry, I'll vacuum. But right now, I'm washing a freaking wall. Okay. <laughs> so, in here, Chelsea is doing her chore. But, Chelsea, I'm going to... I had you come down here. I'm because I got these down little down. mats. Um, I'm trying to make this an area that she can clean easy um, or easier. Um, so I got these little uh, dish drying mats. I like these. Um, but we're going to take all of this away from the wall, Chels. And then um, you're going to wipe underneath it. And then I'm going to put all the appliances on these mats. So that in the future she can just pull the mat out away from the wall. Wipe underneath everything. Shake off the mat if she needs to. Um, and then put everything back in the corner. And I'm also trying to, see, I can't even unplug. Can I get it? The pressure to do this kind of stuff is a little too much. But see how, like, we just, it just gets dirty, and I know that there's more muck back in here. And also, like, for the air fryer, we start, started to use the air fryer, but sometimes you want to, like, kind of pull it out. Um, but it'll be easier if it's on a mat. So this mess um, came from my car. Uh, Abby cleaned out my car. <laughs> my pilot, I should say. I asked her to get my umbrella out of the car the other day when it was raining so I can put it into my Tesla. Um, but then she went ahead and cleaned out. This is an air freshener that we got. <laughs> so sad. Actually, I got this one on the Big Island, not Maui. <sighs> Let's not talk about Maui. Um, <laughs> And so anyway, I've got all these, this is just a backup pair of um, sunglasses, or regular glasses, um, that I put into my, my pair eyewear case, just in case something happens to the current ones. Um, and I need to put a water bottle in my car with ice and water in it, so I have that when I'm out and about. So this all goes to my car when we go. Then, without actually showing you my license, we got our license in the mail for my new car and the registration for it. So I'm gonna put that on my car today, or Jason will. Okay, we're gonna move this stuff out. Probably just rinse that off. Same with this. I think this one just got cleaned. I don't know what's on it, but use the last of that and then we'll clean it. All right, just move it out of the way. That can get rinsed off and then we'll put it in the garage. 
Hey Ash, when you're done with sweeping, could you help me do a little project that I wanted to do? We're gonna sort through water bottles. So we have more room up in the cupboard up here. Can you help me with that? I need her to climb up there and, uh, and sort the water bottles and get rid of the ones that we don't need. Okay, I'll show you the little mat area back there in a second, but we are pulling out water bottles. Don't do the medicine, the medicine's fine. We're donating some water bottles, and that one's a good one, keep that one. Don't really use Nalgene's anymore, because we like to have them in the, like the metal ones now. Okay, thank you boo. There's a lot more room now. Everyone has their water bottles down that they're using. I need to ask her to You can use it, you just have your own water bottle. This is your current one. Well, you could paint this. I think she doesn't like it because it got scratched up and stuff. But you could paint it. Oh, that one's like. Oh, I've got some cool. We need to wipe that one. Paint. We could uh, totally bump this up, and I've got a cool. We could tape it off and everything. Or you could just cover it in stickers. And then, or we could, uh, we could paint it and stickers. No, we could do shapes and then spray paint and take the shapes off. Yeah, we could. That'd be kind of cool. I'll bring the spray paint home because it's like. Some cool colors. Okay, well, put that one up there because you don't have cheer for a few days. So put that one up. And this is all going to donate. Wait. What? She also uses this one. She does use that one? Mm -hmm. Okay, stick that one up there. Progress. We've got laundry done, ready to have people take up. I've got my pile right here to take to my car. I'm trying to cover up my plate number right there. Plus, I need to drink a lot more water today than I have been. Um, my friend brought me flowers the other day from her garden. Um, she didn't know about my surgery because <laughs> I just tonight. Yeah, it's Daisy's owner. She's going out of town tonight, so I'll find out today for sure what time you want, she wants you to start. Or I'm sure if you wanted to go and see her sooner, you probably could. I have to leave at three, so if we're gonna okay, to okay. Um, but she brought me these pr pretty flowers. She said her bushes are just doing amazing in her yard, which I'm so jealous of. I know. I'm like, if you need me to get rid of any of them, I can take them off your hands because they're so pretty. And I'm hoping I can dry these ones so that I can maybe replace them with these ones. My friend also has a blue bush. I might see if she has some more blue ones because these ones are kind of crumbling. But I like to have the dried ones up here, like during the non-seasons. Table here is clean. I need to like redecorate this little um, stand again, but I'm not worried about that. And the kitchen is clean. It won't, lay, it won't stay like this, but I do like how these are um, so that we can pull this forward. Just these two are on a mat, so we can pull that forward if you need to use them or clean behind it or whatnot. And then these two, um, this area gets dirty quite often. So I know that this will have to get pulled out, shaken off, but it'll be a lot easier because it's kind of separate from the larger appliances. Okay, we're gonna take her chair stuff to the car, put it in my trunk. Yeah. I, I can grab this. It's kind of hard, but I'd rather have it put away. Thank you. So Jason only has a few more hours. He's been gone this morning. He went to shoe show, right? Yep. And uh, just in Bellevue, just town next to us. Um, got done a lot sooner than he thought. But he's meeting um, his two business partners. One of them no longer owns stores, but is in town. And they're all going to go to lunch, dinner, 3 o'clock, whatever you want to call what that. Call Old it? man's dinner. <laughs> Ashley is trying on her cheer shoes for this football squad. That's I guess what we're going to call it. Now that she's on multiple no, squads, it gets a little confusing. Which one? I need to sign you up for this. Um, like, there's one more summer clinic she needs to take before that her other squad starts in the fall. I just say that. Um, it's just it is what it is. I just say that. But hurry and try them on. Hurry! I need to throw away the box. I just say I do all stars um, for one of my teams and then do sideline for my. Own. All stars and sideline. Okay, let's go to Target. Okay, we're at Target. You want to tell them why we need? Um, well, I need more of this. We're getting butterfly closures, liquid band-aid. Why? Sure, an animal. At one in the morning. Oh, see, it's I think it's bad, not actually. too bad. I think ointment, it's coming together pretty good. 
It actually is. I didn't think it was that close yeah, closed together. Yeah. I think it'll bring it together a little bit more if we use those. But, yeah. yeah. Wait, it's just so we're just gonna right since it's on the elbow. But, my sister said way, to just go good. ahead and get it closed up yeah, solid. But if we like, if it turns into a scab, if I move it, it's just it'll a scab pop open. It'll right. All right. I just sat in a parking lot and had some lunch. <laughs> it's dinner it was dinner it's 10 to 6. <laughs> i didn't realize what time it was i didn't eat lunch to be fair i ate breakfast at noon so you know um had a red light back there and then it went green um i'm not gonna lie i'm in a little bit of a funk this week the whole news about maui is very depressing um i We'll update you about, well, I don't know if I mentioned this in my video yesterday about um, Maui, but I have, my cousin's in-laws were missing family members during the fire. They were missing for about 24 hours, and then they finally were able to get in touch with them, and they were fine, but their house is gone. I will leave a link to their GoFundMe. It is a legit source. Um, to support them and help them rebuild. Um, so that's my cousin's family. Um, her husband's family all live in Hana, and then this one cousin lives in Lahaina, so they lost everything. So Hawaii has like, you know, family ties in a way. Um, but also like I've been talking yesterday, I spent a lot of the day um, responding to you guys and kind of being in a funk and talking to my sister and talking to my aunts. They love Hawaii just as much as me, if not more. It's where I, I think I got my like desire to go to Hawaii from. So I'm kind of in a funk and I'm also like in a funk just from the recovery, wanting to go and do more, but it is exhausting. I don't know how to explain it to people like that haven't gone through this. It's beautiful outside and probably 90 something degrees. I'm just gonna keep you down here. Um, so I don't have to hold the phone and I'll drive safer. But I don't know how to, it's beautiful outside and I want to be able to like go sit at the beach, but the effort to be able to do so, I can't do right now. And my friend is busy this week. She wants to do it for me, but she's busy this week. She just got a new puppy. Um, her German Shepherd passed away a couple months ago and they just couldn't handle not having one. So they just got a new one. And she's like, we'll go to the beach as soon as he's not a puppy. As soon as I can, like, leave the house. So, I'm just been in, a, been in a funk. That's why I needed to clean the house this morning. I'm like, okay, let's just try and clean the funk away. You know what I mean? That's kind of what I do. Um, but when I can't physically be the one doing the cleaning, <laughs> kind of is hard. Okay, let me go to the next red light. I'll be back. Okay, and I know I'm going to be stuck in traffic in about two seconds because there's construction on the next road <laughs> there's like horrible lighting so regardless I sat down today kind of prepped myself we went to Target um, and I got a new nail polish and I got some acetone and some tin foil and I was just gonna sit down and take off my nails oh they look great you say hmm <laughs> they're purple my favorite color these days um, yeah, I had, like, I did it exactly like the ladies do it at the salon. I put the acetone on a cotton pad. I wrapped my fingers in foil. I had them all covered. Taking off the dip nail when I texted Abby and I was like, hey, can I borrow your little Dremel file thing? I gave her one for Christmas because she loves doing her nails herself. She bought, she got dip nail kits for her birthday. So she does that on her acrylic nails and then she puts the acrylic nails on her hands so she has all the equipment to do all of this herself and I was like I'm gonna save money I'm gonna do this watch a movie enjoy my time now I had the foil the acetone the cotton balls on my hands absolutely destroying my dip nails because I had one nail that had fallen off and Abby's like my Dremel thingy is broken I'm sorry what no longer could I take the dip nails off myself. <laughs> I had destroyed my dip nails thinking I was going to be able to take them off myself. And so then I had to like call 
every salon I could think of to try and get an appointment for today. I found one. Actually, shoot, I made an appointment for two of them. I forgot to go in. It's okay. I'm sure they just washed over my slot when I didn't show up. But I just wanted to be done with the nails. And I didn't want to film any of it because I wanted to do it myself. And then I couldn't. So I found a salon, they, they got me in, and it was absolutely a horrible experience. And I've gone to this salon before, it's not my regular one, but it was an absolute horrible experience. Um, I hadn't ever had dip nails removed the way they removed them. I basically had to do it myself, and they left me sitting there by myself with my hands in a cup of acetone and didn't tell me what to do. I just assumed, stick my hands in there, and they're like, why aren't you taking off the tip? After like 20 minutes and I was like I don't I don't know like isn't that your job isn't that what I'm paying you to do I didn't say that but so then I get to the point where there's like no acetone left in the bowl it's completely caked all over my hands it was like this slimy yuckiest mess and someone came to sit down to like finish doing my nails and she just was so disgusted by my nails and I was like she's like they're the dip isn't off and I was like that's not my job I don't understand I said I don't understand is, is it my turn is it my job to take the dip off I don't understand I said the bowl is empty the acetone is gone there's I there's nothing left for me to do and so she just like flippantly like turn around and went and got another bowl and added more acetone to it and was so irritated with me. I'm like, am I missing something? Like, I don't understand. I don't understand what's going on here. So then I had to sit with my hands in the bowl for another 20 minutes. You guys, my appointment was an hour and a half ago. <laughs> I'm just barely going home. So then she starts to do my hands and it was, she was doing it fine. Everything else like up to that point up to, you know, she did my hands, she did the manicure, she took care of my hands, she put the oil on, I went and washed my hands off. And then she has, you know, you pay before you get your nails like painted or whatever. Um, at least when you're getting just a regular manicure so that you don't ruin the paint when you're paying. So I paid for them and she asked me how much she wanted, you know, me to put in for the tip or whatever. And I told her I offered 20% tip because at this point I had done half the work. <laughs> but I'll give you 20% as long as you paint my nails and let me go. I'll give you 20%. That's above normal tipping. Sometimes I pay more when I get a great experience, but that 20% was fine. And it was like I hadn't paid her at all. She was like, I mean, she, I, she, I told her how much to put on for the tip, and she was like, we'll say it's 10. She's like, 10? And I was like, yeah, 10. Okay, just 10? It, that's 20%. All you did. <laughs> so then she just quite literally slapped on nail polish, did two coats, slapped on the top coat, and walked away. Walked away. Didn't even finish cleaning off her desk, took the tools and walked away and never came back. I didn't know if she needed to put my hands in like the UV light thing. I didn't know if they were gonna be dry. I didn't wanna touch them. And I was like, am I missing something? Like I, I just felt like I was doing it wrong. And I was like, this has never been the experience at any salon before. And I was so baffled by it. I was so confused. And I, so I just got up and I left and I was like, I mean, at least they're cute. They're purple and the nails are off. Like the fake is off and I can let them breathe for a minute. But I was like, that was quite the experience. And I feel bad because my friend works there. Goodness sakes. What else can we have going on here? Uh, my friend works there and not friend, very brief acquaintance um so I feel bad because every other time I've gone there I've had such a good experience and they've treated me really well so I don't really understand what the deal was today like I really don't so Jason's still gone 
he's still it's hard when no one's in the car with me to get all the seatbelt stuff off Kaylee and not Kaylee Kaylee I didn't tell you what Kaylee is doing Abby's at work Chelsea and Ashley are here at home um they have uh daycare doggy daycare again this weekend my friend is going out of town so they have the dog this weekend they have picked up a third and possibly a fourth client <laughs> Thank you to my friends that live here and go to cheer with Ashley and have accepted Ashley and Chelsea as a new doggy daycare um, walker for them. So thank you. You know who you are. Um, so they have lots of little business coming in. Um, <coughs> anyway, so they are doing day, uh, dog daycare tonight. So they had to kind of stay home and um, go back and forth and take care of the dog and stuff. Um, and then Kaylee, she went to Lake Chelan this weekend with her friend and her friend's family. Um, they love her. That's where we had, um, their graduation party is at this friend's house and they love Jacob. And so they've kind of adopted them. <laughs> they just said, are you coming to our, our lake house for our vacation with our whole family and another family? And <laughs> they were like, sure. Um, and so that's where they are for the weekend, probably even till mid I don't even know when they're coming back next week they're spending quite a few days out there um but I did have um I I'm surprised Jason remembered because <laughs> I was to be fair I was telling him a lot to do this morning and he was getting very irritated with me and he will probably agree with that in the comments below um but I can't do the things that I asked him to help with and I think he's just getting kind of annoyed with it <laughs> he, he's over it at this point still willing to help but he's a little over it and I think he should openly admit that in a comment down below but um, he got down a bag of like um, hand-me-down clothes from Ab Ashley well they're Ashley's clothes that she's going to hopefully fit into um, and I they're from all the other girls but they're like cute clothes I think there might still be some Gymboree clothes in there. For those of you, I think there was one person who had recently went back and looked at some of my Hawaii videos where she found my channel recently um, from one of my Hawaii videos where I had put in that first vacation with the girls in, on Oahu where they're all in their cute Hawaiian Gymboree clothes. <laughs> Miss those days. She's like, Gymboree clothes, I had those clothes. Anyway, my, my kids will never wear them. These clothes, I probably have 30 pairs of leggings in this bag. And Ashley's not wearing leggings anymore, or at least she's not going to. Anyway, and they're just too big for her to like, for me to wait for her to fit into them. And there's, I, I don't even know what else is in there. We're going to go in and we're going to find out. But I say that because a friend of mine, she's like, I can't find clothes for my super skinny bean of a kid and she loves leggings and she loves cute clothes. And, and I was like, then I have the bag for you. You need to have this entire bag of clothes. I'm gonna go do that really quick. Um, just cause I'm in this mode of like declutter and clean and make the house feel a little better so that I can maybe feel better. Do you guys do that? Like, I'm hoping it works. We'll see. Okay, here is my last little declutter project. I'm going to, oh, I shouldn't be lifting that. Should not be lifting that. That is, that was too heavy. Look, some of this still has tags on it. This is from Aber, Abercrombie and Fitch. Look, the girls are home. I wonder if they have Daisy. You have Daisy? Oh, Did, is it just you or is it what? Chelsea with you or no? Okay. I'm going to go through these clothes. Will you come and tell me if you like some of this stuff before I donate it? We haven't gone, we haven't gone through it for a while, you have to say. This is kind of cute. Will you try this on? I know it's like a... Is it long sleeve? Yeah. They long? don't... That's the thing is... Okay. You don't wear long sleeve. My kids have stopped wearing long sleeve. Even Unless it's, it's a sweatshirt. Now. Even if it's freezing. Unless it's a sweatshirt. You'll wear t-shirts and then a sweatshirt over. straws are small. I don't know. But don't drink my drink. Don't. I did. It was next to the salon. So it was really good. I forgot this stuff was in there. This is really cute. Also, all of these two shirts are 15 to 16. Well, just try it on. Not 15. Well, no, this one's a 14, 16. But this is a 14, 16, too. No, that's a 15, 16. 
Just it's bigger. Yeah, that pink one is bigger. Just try it on. Just give me, just try it on. I don't want to get rid of it if there's a potential of you being able to use it. All right, we are going to donate most of that stuff. I'm finding out if my friend is in town. She's going to try on the jeans. Here, Ash, try on the jeans with that sweater. Okay, she did not like the sweaters. And I'm not going to keep them anymore. So let someone else get them um, and try them. But she did get this shirt at Target today. It reminds me it of yeah, it looks like an Ares tour. I'm actually kind of excited if, if people start doing Taylor Swift, like, not merch, not official merch, but, like, inspired stuff from Taylor, because that would be really cool to start getting. From Target, they should do Yeah, they, Target should do a Taylor line. They should. But she's going to try this new shirt on with the jeans that she claims she doesn't want. But I'm going to make her try them on. Well, I want to try them on. The light is really orange for some reason. Um, anyway, all right, I have been watching the Seahawks game. I can't show <laughs> their logos or I'll get the video flagged, but they won. Um, so that was great. It's just preseason. Let me turn on the light real quick. I'll show you what we, I had Ashley do. Um, these are all our old backpacks. Um, this was Ashley's backpack in first grade, I believe. Um, but she only used it for part of the year and then maybe she didn't she had another backpack oh she had this one and this one um so she used like this one for the first few months of school and then she kind of was starting to use this one and then covid hit she never went back to school for what two years and so then we've just kind of been playing off of both of these backpacks for the last few years and using them for travel and vacations and things like that i knew the backpack hadn't been completely emptied oh but she is done with having fun designs on her backpack. So we're going to donate those. This is like really good backpack. It's in good condition. So we're going to donate them some, hopefully like some little girl can get a um, really fun backpack. I actually might wash them um, and just kind of clean them up so that they can get them nice and new when they get um, them from the Goodwill. And then we just went through a lot of our other bags and we're just going to donate a bunch of this stuff that we're not needing. This was literally like $6 on, on Shein and it is broken. And that's, it's not actually not broken. It's just, it's, I have a better bag now. That was kind of an interim backpack um, to use um, before I got my other one. But then this is Chelsea's bag um, from probably two and a half years of school. And it is done for her. She wants a, actually a smaller bag, which is why she got the one she got. So that one is done. And then that's just a cinch bag. There's clearly some more stuff in here. I actually said that this was all emptied out. Right. Is well, this emptied out or is it just a heavy bag? Chelsea that's just a heavy bag. Yeah. And then this is my old purse. We are not going to do purse anymore. And this is another one that I got while I was waiting for my lug bag. But we're not going to do that one anymore either. So all of that will get donated. So for now... We just have these bags left. Chelsea's will not be able to hang. Oh, this is Ashley's. Um, they will not, hers will, hers will be able to hang when we start school. Chelsea's will not. Hers will be too heavy to hang off of here. But for right now, it's fine. And then here is my lug travel bag. And then we are starting the seasons of going to games and having to have clear bags. So I have the clear bag and then the wallets and stuff that I use when I go to games like that to put inside um, my clear bag. So that is it. I don't know what this is. Oh, that's just a graduation balloon. So I'll put that out in the garage. I did all of that. She did do all of that. So that's all cleaned up. We are going to donate all of these. Um, ash. Oh, that's for her backpack. That's going in her bag. We're going to... I have another bag of pens and pencils that I'm actually going to donate to my twin sister. I think I might... It's tempting to come back to my desk because I think I am feeling good enough to sit here at the desk um, versus needing to kind of sit in a more comfortable position on the couch. It does help to like have the cushions to kind of support me and stuff when I'm working on the computer um, and editing from the couch upstairs. Plus it's nice to watch TV <laughs> while I do part of the editing. But I probably should come down here and start working from my desk again. Ashley, seriously, come and get these dishes, please. Hey. But it feels good. All these things I've wanted to do, but I've needed help doing them. And so it feels good. We're going to close out our night. 
Um, I'm gonna gather all of these and put them in a bag. Did you get me a trash bag yet? No. Oh, she's making her another cake. We're always making cake. Just do it on the, that many pieces. Just do it on like two or three pieces for me, you, and Dad. Um, Chelsea won't eat it, and uh, Abby will be hungry for dinner, not dessert. So I'm gonna sign off with you guys now. Um, it was a good declutter day. Good day to clear my head. And uh, we'll start all over again tomorrow. Uh, Jason, I think, is taking tomorrow off again. It is Saturday. And has been a little less busy. Busy enough to pay the bills <laughs> and have good sales. But enough of a breather for the employees to not be with their boss on Saturday. That's what you like to call it. Give them a break from Jason. <laughs> So we'll spend the day doing something tomorrow, but Abby has to work all day. So we'll see what we do. And Kaylee's gone. But we'll say goodnight to you guys and talk to you later. Easy, easy on our tiptoe.